simplify, simplify. Don't we all want a simple life? And some of you absolutely don't. Some of you want, you know, you need a whole bunch of bells and buzzes and excitement. <laughs> you, you drink it, you live it, you do whatever it is. But for most of my clients, I think a simple life is good. And, and it's odd that I'm going to talk about this because I probably make most people's, and when we talk about estate planning, I, I probably make most people's estate planning more complex because I make them think about things they wouldn't think about otherwise. I make them think about options, and so we, we tend to put things in there that most most people don't. But I have someone that I'm talking to that wants to leave more than 90 different people, entities, money the day he dies. That's complicated. And some of them he doesn't even know. Some live in other countries and he doesn't know how to talk to them. Some of them he doesn't have a relationship with. And that's all fine. He has a reason to love them. That's great. That's, that's good. That's, that's a good thing. But I think if we think through, you know, the benefit of having a coach, the benefit of working with that is my job is to help simplify that process. How can we do good with your wealth, but make it simpler? May give it away today rather than wait until the day you die and tell someone that they got to find 90 plus people that you don't even know where they live or who they are. Maybe we should do some of that today. Let's let's do some of that today. Maybe maybe we don't need to separate so much and we, we just give it to family groups. Or, you know, there's a lot of things and, and there's no right answer for that. And, and there's no, what I, what I talk about isn't necessarily right more than what a client would think, but I think it's good to go through your planning and I might be a little biased because I'm a coach. I'm a financial planner. That's what I do. People hire me to coach them. People hire me to be their advocate, to challenge them about their thoughts. But I've done this thousands of times, and I think I often come up with alternatives that are better. And so sit down with someone. Look at your plan. Have a second opinion about what you're thinking. Because oftentimes we get in our own mind, our own world, and we build this world, and we get in, and we close ourselves off. And if we don't let someone else in there, we can really get a weird world going. <laughs> and that's part of what financial planning is about: is opening that up, opening your estate planning, opening, opening up your cash flow, opening up your retirement plan. Let's look at what you're doing. Let's get a second opinion about what you're doing. I. I think most of the time I, and in the planning process, I save clients hundreds of thousands of dollars in their estate plan. But we have to be open. And I do think simple is better. <laughs> and some of the attorneys that work with me, they, if they see this, uh, they'll laugh because they know that Wayne does some things that is more, a little bit more complex, a little bit more intricate maybe, but is more intentional about helping those that we care about. That's really what planning is about. Is how do we make sure of the side effects? Nothing else, everything we do, what are the side effects of what we're doing? Bring someone in. Let them look at your picture. Let them help you think about different options. Maybe there's something better. Maybe there's not. But you'll be better.